Hello everybody, uh, today I'm making this video to show you guys an experiment that I did a few months back and I was uh, trying a, a few different things to see the plausibility of them. So uh, first I needed to start out with some blades so I had two sets of my three inch PVC blades and as you can tell I just basically took one pattern, put it together and just cut it all out. Uh, but one problem that I noticed is the motor I originally had them attached to, you know, the uh, the nut was right in the middle there, and once I drilled that hole out to attach the blades to the motor, made it really, really uh, weak in that area, and that is exactly uh, where this one snapped off. So uh, that was one problem. But what I had it attached to, let me show you the other part of the experiment. So I took my old uh, wind turbine, basically body here, and uh, the main thing I wanted to try was to see if these would make uh, a reasonable bearing. And this is off a treadmill. And when you tear apart a, a treadmill, basically you'll get two of these, one for the front, one for the back. So I never could figure out a, a good way to use these, but I, I did have a, a nice pile of them. So I finally figured out that I would attach this, this block of wood here to the center. And, uh, you know, I drill that in there to attach it. And then attach the pulley that comes off of the, the treadmill and attach the blades to that. So it, it did actually spin all right. And actually I'm going to insert a clip right here of what it looked like. Uh, while it was spinning. Alright, so as you can probably tell, it wasn't very fast and I could tell there just wasn't a lot of power behind it. So if I did have this hooked up to a motor, I bet you it wouldn't have turned at all. Um, otherwise, maybe it had to be a really, really, really small motor uh, for this to, to do anything. But I will eventually try another one of these uh, with a, a bigger set of blades and do the pulley system again. You know, because this is free basically off the treadmills when you get them. You know, you usually get one of these. And off the treadmills when you get one, you usually get two of these. So, and I do have a pile of them. And, gotta be able to use them for something and actually when this little blade I'll show you the front here uh, broke or snapped off in our windstorm that we had um, I couldn't find the blade anywhere so I thought maybe perhaps it had gone in the back of the woods um, but actually to find out it flew maybe three four hundred feet and hit the neighbor's RV or motorhome not sure which one you want to call it and he said it didn't do any damage to it, probably because it's it's so light. But it definitely uh, went flying for quite a distance. So, um, just to show you that quick experiment. And another thing I want to show you guys. I used to have a, you know, the, the big pole that was just attached to the shed. Well, now I basically attached a 4x4, four four, which I've actually had on it for quite some time. And... Uh, this seems to work a lot better. It doesn't make uh, hardly any of the racket that the old one did. As when we get going, it'd make tons of noise. But this one's uh, pretty good so far. So, Alright, uh, thank you for watching this video as always. Take care, and God bless.